All right, hey, I'm Mike McGrady here. I, I built this little uh, shed for my miniature donkeys, and I want to kind of explain to you, you know, what my pro thinking process was really when I decided to build this thing. And I, right below this video, we're going to put a link to a, a, a page, a web page that's going to have still photos of how, this thing being built in, you know, kind of a progressive thing. So anyway, there's a link right below the video. Go to that, and there's a more detailed explanation about the construction. But the overall idea behind this thing was basically it's eight feet by eight feet because the, the, the lady I'm getting the donkeys from told me that you can put up a 20 by 20 building and they're all going to huddle in the corner anyway. So right now I've got two donkeys, two miniature donkeys. I wanted it as low as possible because from being in the nursery business, I know that the lower I stay, the warmer it's going to be. I decided to go with a dirt floor instead of a wood floor because I don't want air to get underneath it there because that air is cold. So we're going to put it, we've got a wood floor, I'm going to put a little drain line in the back just in case water gets in there, I can just drain it off that way, a French drain. I've got rubber mats that are going to go on the floor. So this building is basically roughly 8 feet by 8 feet. Now when you build it, you want to make it a little bit shorter so that your materials, because you got a 4x4 four four, and then you're going to put 2x4 two by, two by purlings going horizontal. So you want to uh, allow for that. So make your building somewhere between 90 and 92 inches. That way a, a piece of 96 inch, 8 foot material is going to be long enough. So I used a salt box design with a slanted roof. Um, this is only 7 16 Actually what I did, I got 7 16 OSB on top. We put shingles over the top of that. Just wrap the shingles around on this side. And then I line the inside with OSB as well. That gives me a three and a half inch air space in there. Kind of an insulating factor. Plus, it keeps the donkeys from eating the thing because they like to gnaw on, on two by fours. And the four by fours I used are treated, so I covered those up with regular wood. Um, you know, there, it's debatable whether or not treated wood is good for livestock, but a lot of people say it's not. So I covered it up. That way they can't get to the, the, uh, the you can't can't chew the the treated wood so these are so there are I got on each wall there's one two three vertical four by fours they're two feet in the ground like a pole barn type construction and there's three going this way three going that way and then three on that side so basically that's that's the nutshell of this donkey shelter if this thing is facing facing that that's east that way south that way so i got facing southeast so it's out of the prevailing winds uh and then we're going to put a corral area in here so they've got a place to run and exercise and do all that so all right that's my that's the the basic design of the donkey house um i'm going to put the a link down below and, and show you step by step on a construction process and then if you have comments just go to that page and post them there um, I don't do comments on YouTube because I just can't keep up with all the comments so everything is on mikesbackyardnursery.com click the link below and, and follow up with me there if you have questions I'll do my best to get there and answer them for you so I'm Mike McGrody from mikesbackyardnursery.com